now we're going to go over what I like to call bottom position. My cross face, cross face blanket ride. Move over off the tape. This way. I like to be on the tape. I'm bougie. I feel you. So as I cover, where does my chest go? Across his back. I want to cover as much cover his, of his, his, his back. back. You never want to be on top like this, on top like this, way over here. You're in offense, so I want to force my will on him. All my chest is going to be covering right here. Off the whistle, I'm going double thigh prize, so my chest is pressuring in, and I'm coming forward. From here, turn around, Jarvis. Step one, all the way, is to get an anchor. I like inside anchor. So I have double thigh, he's right here. I'm gonna hook this with my outside leg. From here, if he doesn't move, let's turn back around. I got a few options. Option one, bigger guys or beginners, if he's just right here with his head down, we can do what's a stack. I'm gonna come underneath, crunch it, keep that anchor, so go around towards his head, right there. That's a nice middle school, very easy. Step two, I'm gonna blanket, come here, he's got his head up. Oh, if he wants to push into me, that's even better. I'm gonna reach across. Now I got his cross face. You see I got half his body. Now it's from him. If he's looking into me, go ahead, look in like you were. I'm gonna come underneath, and I'm gonna drive in. I can keep his leg as I circle and try to get some back points. So now we've done two options off this, right? And it's all based on my opponent. Off the whistle, double thigh, back anchor. Cross face in, this time he looks away. I'm gonna bring his head to his knee. And from here, I gotta get this elbow. Can I cradle yet? No! I'm too far, I gotta get this elbow to his knee. Here, how'd it go there? I hipped in. I oh, grab my man. own wrist. Some kids will hook this leg. Go ahead and hook. I don't care. <laughs> we'll go back from here. Put the pressure in. Keep scooting down. Need armpit. Bottom knee, yes, in the armpit. When the ref gets in place, He's extend <laughs> and finish. Let him kiss him. Kiss the knee. My That's eye. three options. If you kids didn't know, this is how I ride. 90% of you in this room. Option four, forward. I got this anchor, I'm coming across. He's starting to spread out, starting to spread out. What do you think's coming in? Now I'm gonna go cross body. Working my stuff from here. So what I want you kids working is step one, two, three. No legs yet. So you get in this position, good cover. Double thigh, get an anchor. And then from here, if Jarvis doesn't move, what do I do? Power stack, I mean, power middle power school stack. stack. <clears throat> if he doesn't move, hand on the belly, I push it down with my outside hand, this one comes through like a snake. Now I'm cranking it down, cranking it, circle towards the head, right there. That's pretty pinned. Yep, so we had Jalen, get on top of me, Jarvis. How do you prevent that anchor? So Jarvis trying to anchor, if he already hooks it, I'm in some trouble here. It's hard for me to get out. I wanna be knee sliding and really working, almost like I'm defending the leg. If you feel it coming in, then yeah, if you wanna hip in and pivot up into it. The easiest to defend to a stack, or if you're gonna be cradled, Jarvis, get on me. If I, if he goes to stack me, stack, wait for a second. He's trying to crunch me. Which is the opposite of a crunch? Uncrunch. Superman. So he comes in, uncrunch too. I go here. Cause where's the worst spot in wrestling? On your back. Where's the second worst? Belly, so I'm second worst, right? I upgraded. Get there, get back. So that's option one. Let your partner do that once, maybe twice. We don't need to practice the stack too much. Let's see, Jars, you get in there. You know, now he's working off a of feel. Yeah. 